In my Breaking Bad theories video I made a while back, I mentioned the very popular Gay Gus theory. I gave it a very high rating because I assumed that it was basically canon at this point, but I got a lot of comments on the video that strongly disagreed with me, calling me an SJW and a groomer. I was quite shocked by this since I thought everyone agreed with this theory, so I thought it would be a good idea to take a closer look at the Gay Gus theory and decide once and for all if it's true. To start off, let's take a look at the main thrust behind this theory, which is Gus and his business partner Max's relationship. It's never been exactly clear what their dynamic was, other than that Gus clearly cared deeply for him, to the point of dedicating the next 20 years of his life after Max's death to avenging him. Gus was the one who paid for Max's university course in chemistry, which is a pretty big thing to do for someone who you would only consider a friend. On the other hand, they named their chicken restaurant Los Pollos Hermanos, aka the Chicken Brothers, which could imply that they aren't lovers, but more so consider each other found family. Or maybe they just thought it sounded better than Chicken Lovers. In Season 3, Episode 4 of Better Call Saul, Hector calls Gus and Max the Butt Brothers. Good. Pollos Hermanos. Yo diría los culos hermanos. <laughs> And in Season 5, Episode 1, Lalo refers to Max as Gus's boyfriend. Después de que mi tío le metió un balazo en la cabeza a su noviecito. <laughs> Obviously, we can't really treat these comments as real evidence, since they were said by terrible people who hate Gus and are probably also homophobic, but they should still be taken into consideration. In Season 5, Episode 5 of Better Call Saul, we see that Gus has built a memorial in this compound that may or may not be owned by him that's dedicated to Max. And he also set up a scholarship named after him, which when you think about it, seems like kind of a risky idea to name a public scholarship after your illegal meth business partner. Overall, it seems that Gus and Max were very, very, very close friends at the least, and it's definitely reasonable to assume that they were more than that, considering Vince Gilligan himself has said that while their relationship is ambiguous, he personally thinks that Max was more than just a friend to Gus, and that they were probably lovers. The main argument against Gus being gay that I always see is that he has a wife and kids, which means he can't be. The only time we ever hear about Gus's supposed kids is when he has Walt come to his house for a play date, where we see toys on the ground and Gus says something about his kids hating his cooking. However, we don't see Gus's kids at any point, not even a photo, and they're never brought up again. Therefore, it seems very likely that Gus just made up his kids as a way to be relatable to Walt and get him on his good side, like he did with his Sigma speech about how a man provides. This is backed up even further by the fact that when Jesse goes to Gus's house to eat whatever this is, the toys are all gone. It's also worth pointing out that because Gus said he has kids, people just assumed that he has a wife as well, but that is never mentioned once in either show. You could argue that it's quite a length to go to for not much of a benefit, but the new season of Better Call Saul kind of confirmed that Gus doesn't have kids. In Season 6 Episode 4, Hit and Run, it's revealed that the house that we thought was Gus's isn't even his real house, but a decoy with a secret tunnel that leads to his real one, complete with a full security camera setup and even people who he's paid off to act like they live in the other house. We don't see any sign of Gus's supposed family in either house, so it seems most likely that when Gus is home alone, he just sits on his bed and stares at the wall until it's time to go to work again. Gus does get a lot more solo screen time in Better Call Saul compared to Breaking Bad, so if there was ever a time to confirm me as a family, it would be during that show. It is still possible for Gus to have kids, they could have just been adopted. Maybe he adopted them sometime during the four year gap between Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. Maybe he was married for a time and then divorced. There's still six episodes left of Saul as of the time of this video, so it could still happen. More than once in season five, some event in Santiago concerning Gus and Peter Schuller from Madrigal is brought up that we still don't know about. So it seems we could get some more Gus backstory that could finally confirm his sexuality. Now, if we were to entertain the notion that Gus isn't gay, it doesn't necessarily mean he has to be straight. He could be bisexual, which would allow him to lust after both Max and his wife who may or may not exist. Or another possibility that a lot of people have hypothesized is that he is asexual or aromantic, since Gus seems to have next to no sex drive or emotions other than wanting to troll an old guy in a wheelchair. There's also this scene where Gus goes to a hotel to get on with Lydia until he is cock blocked by Peter Schuler, which definitely hints at a desire for women, unless Gus has actually been lusting after Schuler all along. So while there is a lot of evidence supporting Gus being gay, I wouldn't say it's quite enough to be an open and shut case like some people might think. 
I do think that the family argument is invalid, since we only ever hear about his kids once, so I will say that Gus probably isn't a straight guy with a happy family that he comes home to after a long day of staring at security cameras. I personally do think he is gay, but I want to know what you think. Go down into the comment section of this video and argue with each other until you all reach a conclusion. Until then, be sure to subscribe to HN Films and tune in to Is It Peak on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Thanks for watching.